So I think even historically, it means different things, not because they're different pathways, but because sometimes when people speak about enlightenment, I don't think they've gone through the whole thing yet. Sometimes they have, I think. So even historically, it does mean different things. And there's some, there's these, as you can imagine, there's debates that go on that have been going on for 2,000 years about Advaita this Vedanta. Is no, this is Advaita, Advaita Vedanta versus Buddhism, Anatta versus, you know, all of it. So, um, so there are debates, but I don't think of it in terms of the doctrine that matters. It's, it's actually the person. So I'm certain in all walks of life and all places in the world, there have been truly enlightened or liberated people. So I'll define it this way. And I'll start with the question you asked, and that is, do you find that you get to this place of whatever, some ultimate experience. What's really interesting about this is at some point, the sense of being someone that can get to an ultimate place, the whole sense of that actually goes away. It go, there's, no, there's no one that wants to do that anymore. There's no one that could do that anymore. And there never really was. And there's also not, not for anyone else, which is really strange. So that actually goes completely away. And, and this, again, it's, it's a thing I can't even talk about, but I've gone through it and I've seen other people go through it. And when I even use the term I now, that's only for the relative. There's no sense of I, but I'm using it for the relative. There's no other way to talk about this. So that actually ends. And when that ends, I would not even really properly call that liberation or enlightenment just yet, but it is liberation from the, the, the fundamental illusion, which is the illusion of a separate distinct self. And with that, you actually lose the illusion of a separate world out there. You lose the illusion of separateness and discreteness. You lose the illusion of form permanently. You lose the illusion of actually not form. So all of the contradictions in thought are just obliterated. There's, there's nothing like that anymore. So you actually see what's what with crystal clarity and you can't unsee it, but you'll never be able to describe it. Now you can still feel some suffering intermittently with this for a while. Um, but what's beautiful is there's nothing to hide from the suffering anymore. There's no self structure internally that can avoid apparently avoid that suffering anymore to hide somewhere there's nowhere it can go so you actually feel the suffering very directly um which can feel super intense energetically but it also goes away very quickly and it comes in spurts so there's like you know still there may be some unresolved stuff in the in the body mind that just come to the surface and it's just obliterated pretty quickly um at some point that essentially stops happening Although it's, it's always possible. I could still feel something come and sublimate into, into infinity pretty quickly. And it might be intense, but there's nothing that doesn't matter. There's no one who's concerned about that. It just happens. But it becomes very, very infrequent. So um, what ultimately happens is there's this very fundamental reversal in your general orientation to experience. So it turns from a no to a yes. So instead of always looking at how not to experience something or how to mitigate experience or how to control experience, that completely reverses. And there's this like, uh, it's like falling inward into experience endlessly. And it's like, yes, 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 yes. Keep it coming. You know, but there's no one there doing that, but it, it has that feeling of like, oh my God, I'm getting away with something. Like how, how can this even be possible that you can just enjoy everything? And you, but you can. And is that because you're constantly operating from spontaneity? like from the present moment? That's a part of it for sure. That's a, that's a component of it. Yeah, spontaneity is something that I don't think fully comes online to late stage realization, but that it's full on when this reversal happens where there's no resistance to even suffering anymore. And then when there's no resistance to suffering, it, it, it dissipates very quickly. So um, yeah, I, I, would, I would say that that's, that's true spontaneity there. You just really kind of enjoy whatever happens. That's, that's awesome. Thank you for checking out this clip. If you want to see the full episode, you can do so by going up here. I hope you have a wonderful day.